Hi scholars, for this project you will all need to get three colors that we call primary colors, red, yellow, and blue. You can get these at any dollar store or if you don't have it or you won't get to go to the dollar store, do not worry, you can use markers or crayons. Okay, scholars, we're going to do a little um, sort of what I call finger painting. And I know that some of you may be, may be able to get these supplies and some of you may not, so don't worry. You can do the best you can. Uh, we're going to use tempera paints. And I bought these paints at the Dollar Tree. They were a dollar. And as long as you have blue, uh, red, and yellow, you'd be good to go. You can also use markers or crayons. So really it's up to you. Now I'm going to start on a color piece of paper, but you can start on a white paper. I just like to have a color piece of paper for this project. It works really well. And today we're going to use our fingers. It's sort of like doing finger painting. Um, so make sure you have lots of paper towels handy. Okay, because you're going to need them. And a little bit of water if you want. But let's just begin. And I'm going to start by adding green to the bottom of my paper. So on a little lid, like this is just a lid from a little container, I put blue and yellow. And when I mix them, you just mix them with your fingers, you're going to get really a pretty green color, okay? And so I'm going to go ahead and use my finger to start swirling this beautiful green grass. That's what's fun about finger painting. You can just do anything you want and it looks pretty. I'm going to swirl some colors to make some green grass. I'll go all the way to the end of the paper. Alright. Now we're going to let that dry a little bit. In the meantime, we're going to work on our circles, which are part of our tree. So I'm going to wipe my hands. Make sure you wipe your fingers with each time you use it so that your colors don't get all mixed up. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some dots, some big circles. And I have another lid. And here I have red yellow and blue because those are the colors that will make all the colors and I'm just going to start you know, let's put this over here with a red circle and I'm going to put a big red circle here see how pretty and I'm going to use another finger and put a little blue circle here and if I mix red and blue so I can use the same finger I'm going to get a pretty violet color. I'm going to do that up here. Sort of a purple color. Now I want to use yellow so I have to take the paint off my fingers. And for yellow, because I want it to be really yellow, I'm going to put a yellow one right here. There we go. If I mix yellow and red, I'm going to get orange. I like orange, so I'm going to make a circle of orange like right up here. And they can be different sizes, they don't have to be the same. And then I'm going to make, so that's like the beginning of my tree, and I'm going to leave the middle empty because that's where my tree's going to go. So I'm going to go ahead and mix, I'm going to mix a bunch of colors to make a dark tree trunk. So I'm going to take my red and blue and my orange, a little more red. By that time, you can mix them all, <laughs> you're going to get a really nice kind of brown mixture, gray and brown, because all the colors mixed together are going to give you a really dark color. And I'm going to make a tree.
connect. Now I'm going to show you a cute, uh, a fun little trick. I'm going to take water from this this little spray bottle and I'm just going to spray a little bit on the edges of my painting. It's okay if it gets on your colors but you want a little water and then I'm going to make tiny tiny dots inside the water and what happens is because there's water they're going to create a really fun they spread out so I'm going to put little tiny dots everywhere. Hopefully wherever there's water. And it creates a fun little mix. Doesn't spread out as good as acrylic, but tempera does really good too. Okay, and there's my first step to my beautiful tree. We're going to do another step in a minute, but I need to let this dry, okay? Because I can't do the next step until this whole tree is dry. I'm just going to add one more circle. I feel like it needs one more circle right here. All right, so we're going to let our lovely tree dry for a minute, and I'll come right back for our last step. Okay, so my painting is dry. And I even added a few more circles. Now we're going to add something else. We are actually going to cut out little circles from different things like magazine. I have a bag of candy that I'm going to cut out from because I like this paper. I even have fabric. The circles you cut out should be smaller than the circles that are painted, okay? So that they fit and some color comes through around your shapes. I'm making a circle, and if you're not sure how to make a circle, you can just fold whatever paper you have and do a little dome. So I'm just gonna go like this. And hopefully, it looks like a little circle. Maybe it comes out like a little heart, but at least we get a good start. So once I get a circle cut out, I'm gonna decide where I'm gonna put them. You see that my circle is a little small so that some of that yellow makes a nice frame. And this is a red one. I think I'll put the red one where the blue circle is. And then I'm gonna cut out some, I already cut this one out. This was from a paper towel. And I'm gonna cut out my circle from my fabric, my fabric to be right here. So I've got a few. And so I'm just gonna grab a glue stick and start gluing them down. And that's it. That is all we're going to do. We're going to make this very creative tree with very fun circles made out of different materials. And you can just keep going and add anything you want to your circles. And see, that's a pretty interesting painting. All right. Have fun doing yours.